morning. Welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger. Thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to announce the cup winners. I know, isn't that exciting? I'm so excited. Okay. And for those of you, of you who are scratching your head going, huh? Did she say cup winners? Yes, I did. So, here's the skinny on that. Two days ago, I posted a video entitled, You Want Me To Do What? And I had a whole bunch of cups in my hand. Now, I have gotten comments from that video. Are you okay? Uh, do we need to do an intervention? Um, are you sure you're all right? You're giving away cups. Yes. So, here's here's what happened. We have a, I have a lot of cups. I have a lot of cups. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of cabinet space at the moment. We're gonna get more, but we don't have a lot at the moment. So, I needed to thin the herd, so to speak, get rid of some cups so we could make some room. The plan was devised in order for me to get rid of these cups and still be okay, not have to be hospitalized because of the shock and stress is that <laughs> We were going to do a scavenger hunt. I had to pick out X number of cups that I could live without. My heart would still beat. So, I found seven. Went through the cabinet, found seven cups that I could live without potentially. Then, those said seven cups were taken out. And if you've watched any of our videos, you know we have multiple gardens. Uh, different planters, all those kinds of things. So those cups were taken and hidden in seven, you know, those seven cups were taken and hidden in all the gardens. Now, well, I'm in North Georgia. Everything's on hill, people. Don't judge. That video, I was a huffing and puffing because number one, it was hot. Number two, I was carrying a tripod with a camera on it. Number three, Everything's on a hill in Georgia. Everything is on a hill. So, and I was running to try to hurry. So, put all that together and don't judge. That's why I was running over bro. So anyways, I had 20 minutes to find those seven cups. What I found in the 20 minutes, I could keep. What I did not find, I had to get rid of. That was the deal. In the end, if you watch till the very end of the video, it told you that I was gonna give that video 48 hours of comments. And if you typed queen in the comment section below, didn't matter what else you put with it, you could just type queen and move on, or you could type queen and type some craziness about me, you know, oh my gosh, I can't believe this, that was so crazy kooky. Didn't matter, but it had to have queen in the comment. If you did that, you were gonna be put into a drawing to win one of the cups that I didn't find. Because in the end, I found four and three were left behind. We did find them, we did go get them, but and retrieve them. But they all have, are gonna be given to new homes now. So that's, it's sad for me, but happy for someone else. So, try to look at the positive people, trying to look at the positive. So, there were four people that commented correctly, that typed the word queen in their comment. So, this is what I have decided to do. Since I was going to give away, potentially, I put seven cups on red in Vegas and I was really willing to gamble them all away. <laughs> I took one of the cups that I found, put it back in the giveaway pot, so all four of the ladies that commented correctly and waited to the very end and saw and, and did what they were supposed to, all four are winners. Yay! So, those ladies are Mama Gabs, Cindy M, Stephanie R, and Bree R. So, those four ladies all win a cup. So, thank you ladies for watching all the way to the end. 
paying attention, doing what you were supposed to do in order to be entered. Very good. Bravo, bravo. Please, uh, while I'm thinking about it too, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I always forget to say that until the very last. So, But hit the like button while you're still watching. So anyways, you're all four winners. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's exciting. So that's the winner. Things coming up. Let's see. Uh, pull in the garden. Uh, pulled that. That video will probably drop tomorrow. Today I'm going to be pressure canning some chicken. So I want to show you something. Okay, so I went and got something. Some props, so to speak. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be pressure canning chicken. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. Okay? This can that you get from the store, which is a nine ounce can. Net weight is 12 ounce, drained weight is nine ounce. So this nine ounce can of chicken, chunk chicken that you get in the store, is gonna look, when you open it, so you can't see through that, it's gonna look just like this when you get it out of there. So this is a jar of previously canned chicken chicken breast. So this is a pint size jar, which is 16 ounces. So it's probably, I mean, it's probably with the height difference here, it's probably what, uh, 14 ounces. So you've got nine ounces, 14 ounces. You made this, this was made by somebody else. I mean, Come on, what's better? And don't be scared of what this looks like because this looks the same when you open this can. You just can't see through this to see that it looks just like this. Anyways, just trying to encourage you to pressure can your own chicken. But I digress because I could go on and on and on and on about canning and preserving and go preserve your own food when you find it on a good sale and anyways we're gonna move on <laughs> please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here leave any comments you like just be nice please be nice um and that's it that's gonna wrap it up for today congratulations again ladies you'll be getting your cup soon so everybody take care and God bless. We'll see you on our next video.